hello guys welcome back to my channel so uh, I, have, I have i was going through the comment section and i got one comment that uh, how can we automate notepad in such a way that when we open the application we should be able to write on the notepad window and let's say save it so that has to be done uh, automatically so uh, i'll try to achieve that through python so uh, before we do that we need one library actually so uh, if you don't know how to install a library i'll quickly show you which library we want so the library name is pywin auto which is basically for windows automation so i have already installed it but if you want to install so you need to do something like this uh, sorry about that not os but sys and then print your syspath if you don't know where your python is installed and then you just have to copy the path till your python uh, open your command prompt okay when you do that you will see a folder called scripts so inside this script you have pip so this is the basic command that we use to install anything so you just have to type pip install pi win auto then you would be able to see the application so if you want to test it out you uh, you might not be able to see it here if you have the shell window open so just close it reopen it and then try this import pi win auto if you s don't see any error that means that it is installed so uh, I was going through the uh, documentation and it's the pretty straightforward one there were few uh, ups and downs here but um, it's straightforward what I can say so as you see here the command is here so uh, without wasting any time let's just see what we have to do so what I want to do is I want to open my notepad application uh, type hello um, let's say word and then save it using uh, save as command and let's say save it to test dot txt or something right so that i want to achieve through python so let's see what we can do so let's create a new file here so what we need to do is first we need to import right so uh, i have gone through the documentation so i know that i want to in import application which you will see in the documentation also I, I won't go through with it all because uh, it's going to be a crisp video where I'll just show you the implementation how you can achieve it but you can see here there are a lot of documentation how you should use it so I won't do that but uh, let's see the practical implementation so when you do import your application what you need to do you need to create an object let's not say object let's say a variable which will be generically used throughout your program so what with vault will it have so it will have your uh, application object okay so this is your generic one now what you need to do is uh, you need to provide which application you want to be started through this or contained so I'll use notepad dot exe so let's just try it till here okay let's save it uh, to desktop save it as pywin uh, notepad auto save it let's run it so as you see we have a window now so that much is okay you can achieve this through your os also os uh, library but now let's see how we can type so when you open notepad what you see you see a window right this is a window you have a title you have few uh, few menus and you have a text box here so this menu and title will be common for all your standalone applications so i'll i'll just use this title to grab the window so what what will happen is so there are three ways actually to do that so i'll uh, show you two ways which you should use the third way is not that um, you know good so i'll just use a variable named dialog because that's a dialog and then I'll use a method window which is obvious because this is a window let me close this one so in window you have to provide the title right so title equals to so by default notepad has a title as untitled 
notepad so let me see if i have uh, did it right or not so untitled notepad okay so there is a space here and here let's save it and let's try so yeah it's it's having that title now we need to see if it is able to grab the window or not so how how we can do that let's just write something to it right so there's a method dialog uh, so that's it your variable so you need to provide it what you want to do so i want to edit then i want to type so this is a method so this is a new method previously we had uh, type keys that is deprecated now so you need to use uh, type keys and then you have to provide uh, i think <laughs> it got hanged then you can then you can provide uh, okay then you can provide the text that you want so i was talking about hello world and then you just save it and then run it so as you see the text is here but there are no spaces why because by default it excludes these spaces so you need to provide here like include the spaces so this is a property here which you need to make it true so if you do that you have spaces now good to go now then next hurdle so uh, some of you might be questioning like how do i know like this has to be it this has to be it so this much is available on the documentation okay you will find it here that's why uh, i use that now what we need to do is we need to save it so first this was one of the way and if i don't use this there is one more option so what i'll do is i'll just uh, let's comment it out so the second way is just use app dot so you don't have to do window okay so you can do just notepad and let's say dot add it dot type uh, keys and the entire above uh, line that you, that we did i don't know why it hangs at brackets it's weird so i'll just say hello world i won't provide it this spacing thing let's just see if it works so if you see it worked and this is uh, this is a good way to do it because it's just taking one line and if you want to know how i know it so uh, you can do app dot uh, there is one print control identifiers through this you will be able to see what identifiers you have uh, with your current window and then you can print them out you will see the name of the application to which it is referring to so it is referring to notepad untitled notepad so things like that so these are the two ways that you can achieve uh, the process so now we have to save it right so what i'll do is i need to click on save as so i'll just do save as because in uh, notepad you see two option one is your save another is your save as so i'll just use save as because it's the first time we are saving it right so when you click on save as there is a new window which gets opened right so when that new windows gets opened you need to type again what you need to type is you need to type the file name so the property name is file name and then you have to click on save right twice so let's see uh let me close this so save as has a property right so what i'll do is i'll again use edit and then set edit text so these two varies because this was the uh let's say text box entire text box where you are writing it doesn't need to know if you are uh, editing any portion or the entire thing in this case you have to set why because it's a property okay so when you do set edit text you need to provide the file name only so let's do test.txt when you do that it will ask you to uh, click okay or save i forgot what it was but you have to do it twice i think so save as dot save dot click it's pretty simple save dot click it again hanged ok 
okay let's wait um okay then double equals to true to make it click twice save it let's see okay so it didn't open uh, save as and it printed an exception so see i told you like it refers it through three names so these are the three names untitled notepad and then notepad and then this anyways uh, there is exception uh, save as could not find save as in this okay 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 so what i did wrong is i never went to save as so to go to save as i have to go to file also right so to do that what i'll have to do is app dot notepad then menu underscore select which is a method to select the menu portion then i have to provide where do i have to go so file save as and then it will open the next window so that next window will have a title save as right so that's why it was not able to find it out so if you see this now here you can see the title as save as right so it has uh, uh, written that uh, the name that we wanted to provide but it didn't click on save so we might have done something wrong okay let's see what, where it went wrong so save as dot edit dot set this one is okay then save as dot save dot click uh, double equals to true it should go fine let's try it one more time okay i think uh, something went wrong but as you can see it got saved so that was it uh, for this video please let me know if you understand how to grab the window so like you can grab the window using this and uh, or you can grab the windows using the name or the acronym that it is using anywho uh, it will work so this is a pretty straightforward application but if you don't understand much you can always go through the uh, documentation you will find a lot of details here and um, it's confusing but um, eventually you will get to it like if you try a few things on your own um, yeah that was all and uh, please guys if you are watching the videos and if you like the content i would request you to please subscribe it won't take much it, it is just a one second click and it won't ask you to pay anything it's just a support for me and it will motivate me to do more videos like this so please support me on this journey and please do subscribe and like my videos thank you thank you for watching have a great day